illustration isn't just about visual appeal, it's also about relatability, both from the artist and from the viewer's standpoint. We're here in Greenpoint, Brooklyn to speak with illustrator Louis Chin, whose creative work is inseparable from its everyday experiences. As an artist, Louis is very conscious of the way he relates to what he sees and how he internalizes the world around him, and his everyday experiences appear all over his comic panels and sketchbook pages. His current ongoing personal project is an online comic called Cecilia, a series of short stories from the perspective of children from a Chinese-American family in New York City. I just feel like there's not that many stories in the comics field about that stuff, and I feel like that a lot of readers are Asian-American, Chinese American, and I think they would want stories that they could relate to growing up. Even if you're, you didn't grow up like in New York City or you're not Chinese American, I think it's a different vantage point. Like I have stories where it's based in like maybe like a Chinese bakery or something, and that's part of New York or just something you see in Asian communities. Louis is an avid fan of popular Cartoon Network shows such as Adventure Time, Regular Show, and Steven Universe. In fact, he was even commissioned to illustrate a cover for one of the Steven Universe comic books. We asked him to tell us about his favorite commissioned project. Definitely the re sort of recent one I did for New York Times about um, a boy with autism who found a friend in Siri. Since I've worked with kids in the beginning and I was really interested in how autism works. I just um, find interesting different ways how kids find things that, that they can relate to, especially when they don't um, perceive like information as the same as other kids. Louis got his start drawing in childhood from the encouragement of his peers and teachers. His personal style developed as a fusion of the media he was exposed to as a child. Well, just growing up watching cartoons, collecting comics, playing video games, and just copying the styles that I see, like the cartoons I saw, the comics I saw. I think it's a mash of just like anything from like watching anime like Dragon Ball Z or something, or I really liked um, watching Batman, the 1990s cartoon and just finding things I like in different artists and just creating like my own style, I guess. Today, he continues to find inspiration in the world around him. I see people who have like interesting features in their face. I feel like they look like they could be a cartoon character and I'll just draw them on the train station or at the park. I definitely use stuff that happened to me. I like to incorporate that in my comics. I'll draw my friend in the background or something or like have a storefront, but like have your friend's name as a storefront. Louis is primarily self-taught and works mostly between traditional and digital media. To him, hard work and self-promotion are hardly overrated as tools of the trade for aspiring illustrators out there, whether or not they have a background in art. Working your craft, just spending time like nights just trying to learn how to draw a specific thing so you do it correctly. I would suggest showing your work as much as possible. Like, don't be ashamed of like self-promoting yourself.